Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for bestiebookreaders.com. Today I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys had when we did our review for Acer W7 or Iconia a couple of days ago. We got a lot of questions in the comments section, so I wanted to answer those. We got a question about the weight. Is it is it too heavy? I can't tell you how heavy it is as far as... I, I, it is what it is. It says it, over two pounds. But you can actually feel it clearly, especially when you compare it with the iPad, which you can easily hold with one with one finger. Whereas with this, I probably need to use my whole hand. Not a deal breaker. You're getting a whole Windows machine, not just a tablet. It has a window. It has an i5 core processor, Intel Core i5 processor inside. So it's a real. I mean, it's an ultra book type machine if you will as far as if you want to classify it the speed is okay for regular apps i i could run uh, adobe photoshop and everything else easily the screen is pretty responsive i did have some issues with the apps that are included in the tablet so i don't know why some of these apps don't work right it's probably they're just in beta But the speed is fine for regular apps. I'm not sure if you want to run Adobe Premiere on this, for instance. I'm not sure it's going to work fine. Battery life, we got about 5 hours and 35 minutes with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and web browsing and YouTube. We just YouTube and playing games, we got close to 8 hours. It was 8 hours and 5 minutes, something like that. You can see it in the other video that we did. I said 8 hours and 30 minutes, but it was actually 8 hours and 5 to 10 minutes. And the time version that we did for just reading books, playing games, and watching movies, and also playing with some of the apps, like the Paint app available for Windows 8, that we got about 7 hours and about 30 minutes. So it wasn't huge, the difference. It was huge when we used Photoshop and Illustrator and things like that. Games, do they work fine? Yes, they do work fine. I, I can show you classic games. So, so it does work fine as far as that is concerned. Let me put it back in the... As far as design, it's, it's well built. It feels like a tank. If you like heavy tablets, I don't know if too many people like them, but it, it's pretty solid. I don't think it's easy to scratch. I haven't tested it out though, but it feels solid and feels like it's something that will last. And you get a case with your tablet too, so so it's not like you have to go and buy protection if you unless you want an extreme case. And I haven't been able to find extreme cases for this, you know, extreme rugged cases. As far as where to get them, well, that depends. I got mine at New Egg. I ordered it on Amazon. But they said it was gonna ship in a month, so and they were offering it for eight forty nine, and they turned it to eight ninety nine. So with New Egg, it, it was just the original price eight ninety nine. But this is sixty four gig version with i five processor. There's a thirty. There's a sixty four version, sixty four gig version with i three processor for seven ninety nine. That's available on Amazon and. I think it's shipping the last time I checked, but it could be out of stock now. So you want to check that out. As far as configurations, I just mentioned it. 
There's an i3 model, Intel Core i3 mod processor with 64 gig RAM, uh, 64 gig uh, solid state drive. That's for $799. Then there's a, you jump to the next model, it's i5 processor. And then the next model is an i5 processor, but 128 gigs of solid state drive storage. So that, that that's about 1100. And it run, that version, that particular version actually runs Windows 8 Pro. These two other ones are just Windows 8. So you have to pay for an upgrade if you want to go to the Pro version. Desktop version, it's fine. If you don't like the Metro style, just the desktop version. So it's like Windows, except there's no start place, but you do get the the side bar, and actually Microsoft has a fancy word I think for it, a fancy name, but. It's just that side panel that you can access different parts of your tablet and different features. As far as the screen quality, it's not the best. I It's not an iPad-like version. Uh, iPad-like quality, the resolution is 1080p, which is fine for videos and everything. My only problem is that if you go to 1080p, the, the desktop version is going to look so small. That's going to be a problem. So... That's just something that you want to think about when choosing the right resolution for your tablet. But as far as screen, it's responsive. I don't think they support the those fancy stylus things that you can buy for, for painting. Um, I've heard stories that Acer doesn't support that for some reason, whereas Samsung and uh, other tablet makers, I, th I think Asus does. So you want to do your research on that. I don't do any painting, so but that that was what was mentioned online about this product. It didn't bother me. It's not a deal breaker for me, but for some people it might be. Should you wait for the Surface Pro? That was a question that was asked. I, I don't I don't know. Windows the Microsoft Surface tablet with Windows RT is pretty decent. But you, you're going to have a very difficult time getting the apps that you want. And it doesn't run legacy applications. I would not recommend Windows RT to anyone. Not at this time. It feels like it's beta. And it doesn't run Windows apps. As far as older Windows apps. It's, you're talking about an ARM-based uh, tablet. So the quality, I've, the built quality is decent. We tested it. But... The hardware can be great, the, so so if the software is terrible, then you, well, what are you getting exactly? As far as as far as this tablet, as far as we, and how it stacks up against Microsoft Surface Pro, I expect them to be similar in the specifications, probably i5 processor for that as well, 64 gig. I think the price range is also going to be similar. I think probably maybe Microsoft Surface is going to be $100 more for the same specs, but then it has some goodies with it. I don't think they're going to include the keyboard for there for free, that fancy keyboard and the touch cover that they have. So the costs are going to add up there. This is, you get a case, you get a dock, you get a keyboard, you get the CDs and everything, just all in one bundle so you don't have to buy more stuff. So, so that's about it. I ho hope you enjoyed this these answers to these questions. I did my best to answer all the questions that we got. We got some questions on games and how to play games on this. I'm gonna try a couple of easy, simple games and in a, another video. So hopefully you enjoy that as well. Thank you very much for watching guys.